necessary to slow down and go through the process that you laid out. The most important duty we have is to take huge strides to fulfilling our soul's mission. Teamwork makes the dream work. I love that, yeah. Hello, hello. Ah, this is one of our one-on fun interviews where we love to bring on one of our dear clients, dear friends, sister. Eve is here with us today. And Eve is going to share a bit of her story. She's had some beautiful, magical successes since joining our program only a couple of months ago. And I just felt intuitively like this was the right time to, to reach out and have her share her story. So really, especially for those of you who you just need to see some examples, you know, in our lives when there's something that we desire, that we want, whether it's better health, a better marriage, whatever it is, it's so healthy to have those examples in our lives to inspire us about what's possible. So Eve, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice to be with you. First of all, I'm so glad that you found us. It's been such a joy to work alongside you with you to help you bring your vision to fruition. And why don't we just go back a little bit and you could share, you know, how was it that you found us and, you know, a little bit about your experience going through the more money, more impact breakthrough experience. And we just kind of take it from there and we'll just share your story from, uh, you know, where you were when you started with us, and then we'll go up to where you are now. So take it away. Sounds good. Well, back when I found you, I was really kind of spinning out. Um, <laughs> I had been through many career incarnations and uh, was starting a new one um, again uh, after leaving a five-year uh, position as a doctor in a clinic, a very busy position. Um, where I was using my degree, my license as a naturopathic doctor, but I was not feeling fulfilled. And I kept having this calling, um, so to speak, to do more, to put out my information into the world. And um, so I'd be commuting to work and I'd be thinking, is it YouTube videos? Is it courses? And I'd tune in and listen to various things and get a lot of ideas, but nothing was really, I never had time to put anything together until I finally separated from my job in December. The only problem with that was I did not have a plan when I did that. And so that's why I say I was spinning out a little bit. Um, and I was actually selling somebody else's program, a coaching program um, at the time when I found you. So I had been, I think probably Facebook algorithms had me clicking on how do I market? How do I do this? And then your ad showed up and, okay, first of all, I just loved your picture with you and Kevin and Virginia and you guys with these big smiles and you look so cute and happy. And I was like, okay, these people. <laughs> and so I went ahead and signed up for the mini transformational experience. And that was really transformative for me because the biggest takeaway that I got from that is that my ideal client is me. And I didn't really put two and two together before, but someone who's been through the types of things I've been through and is searching for the types of things I've searched for, that I'm now on the other side of that, but I can bring them along. And so that was a huge aha moment. And then when it came time to make a decision, I just said, absolutely, I'm in. Um, I was already in love with you guys. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> so awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. So, yeah. I love that. Yes. That when that really clicks, like you can hear it. So if you're listening to this, you, you, you hear Eve say, well, my ideal client is me and I'm just a little bit further along the path. 
it's one thing to to hear that from someone. It's a whole other thing to really have that land inside your body and and come to that that aha and that realization. And that's actually what we do in day two of the more money, more impact breakthrough experience and really help you to start to build on that throughout the rest of the experience. And then if you work with us. So Eve, now could you share, so you said yes, we're so happy you said yes. Mm -hmm. And then what has the experience been like for you so far working with us? Like maybe if you could walk people through uh, like how we go through like onboarding, you know, new clients and welcoming you to the community and, and then uh, just how that like beginning phase was for you. Well, one of the things that really stood out for me was um, how you open each call with um, intention setting and meditation. And that's really a value to me. So um, because we do need to take a moment to just breathe and go, okay, what am I here to do? Um, it's not always about achieving, but about bringing out the work of your heart. And that's what I feel like your program really does for me, because um, from the moment I started it, it gets me thinking in a way and, um, and even the grounding and meditation exercises you do throughout the program helps me come back to my center of what's really in my heart that wants to be created. And so while I have a lot of tools to draw upon to um, bring that together as well, it was really going through each module in the sequence that you put it, and then also doing my own meditations and my own reflections and things that I really came to the conclusion of what I was going to do. And then it literally just felt like it just all downloaded at once. And I wrote it all down. And I, I think I email, emailed you guys a question um, for the Q&A call. And we sort of went through it. And, um, and it just, it really just felt so present and beautiful. And yeah, and then um, I don't know where to go next. I guess the, the next thing is just through the process of the Q&A calls and, and talking with you, um, you suggested that I make the offer to some of my existing clients. And I did, and actually I got a brand new client um, and an existing client and there, we've already started the beta and we're, I'm just kind of building it as we go. And with coaching from you guys every step of the way, yeah, it's amazing. And it was just, it was very, um, what's the word, affirming, you know, that this work is wanted in the world and that it's good and that what I have to offer is valuable. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. That is so, I can just feel your power, that you're really stepping into your power and you allowed yourself the space, like from my point of view, watching you go through the program so far, you really allowed yourself to go deep into answering every single question along the way for yourself and get into a very potent level of introspection Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then that's where the clarity comes and then that's where all of a sudden boom your whole transformational program business downloads mm -hmm. and that's really the purpose of the first phase and a half or so of amp is if you if you slow down at first and you do it right you go really deep to the point where you're like you know maybe even like a hot mess, right? Because it's just this, such a transformational experience. Mm -hmm. And then it's that clarity that then, oh yeah, well, of course I want to offer this. And of course this is awesome. And of course I'm awesome. And of course this would be the price. Like it's impossible to even know what to price 
your offer until you've done that deep work. It's like the deeper you go, the higher you rise. Mm -hmm. The deeper you go, the more clarity you have around that invitation and that offer and that transformation you want to provide people. Then it's like this, this beautiful diamond that you're like, ooh, oh, this is what I'm doing. This is who I am. And of course it is like so valuable to people if they were to work with me and go through this transformational process. Mm -hmm. And then the pricing and the branding informs itself and the marketing strategy. And even just like for you, having a couple of clients just very early in the process saying yes, mm -hmm. because you've said yes to yourself and you've said yes to really getting real and honest with yourself about what it is that you really want to offer. Yes. And it was so necessary to, to slow down and go through the process that you laid out, because if I hadn't done that, I'd probably still be offering someone else's program instead of creating my program, which is me, you know, and, and I think you said on a call or someone said, I'm creating my legacy. And that's really what it feels like is, you know, why create someone else's legacy when I have valuable information that I can create my own and really feel so good doing it, like feel like there's total alignment. It's, it's an incredible experience. Yes. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Oh, I'm so, I'm just so happy for your soul. It's been a long time coming. It really yeah. has. Um, I've hidden behind multiple different careers that were more logical or, you know, more accepted. Um, Is so it you were even a firefighter at one point? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Hottest firefighter ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, someone called me Firefighter Barbie. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it, it was fun. Um, that experience um, was, you know, one of those segues where I said, okay, you know, this is great and all, but I'm not expressing the work of my soul. I'm doing good work, you know, and thank goodness for the people who do this work. And I met many wonderful, amazing people that I'm still friends with today. And yet I, it just wasn't the work of my soul. So yeah, gotta keep searching until you find that. At least that's my philosophy. Definitely. I really feel and believe and know in my heart and my soul that the most important thing, the most important duty we have in this lifetime is to take huge strides to fulfilling our, our soul's mission, our soul's purpose of why we're here. Yes, in, um, in my teachings in indigenous shamanic cultures, they call that the original medicine, that each soul comes here with that original purpose that only they can bring out regardless of what profession they're in, they have their particular flair on it that only they can bring. And so I really see a need for more people doing that. I think that would increase the level of happiness in the world and more and more people doing what it is that fulfills them and brings them that feeling of purpose um, it's going to give even more people that desire to do the same. And so, yeah, what you guys are doing is, is just so necessary to help people like me who have a ton of information, but don't really know how to put it all together. It's just amazing to have this, this framework and to be able to bring it out. Thank you. Thank you for being such a dream to work with. We appreciate mm -hmm. you so much. The fact that you're already bringing on clients into your pilot program, you're just a couple of months into the process. Like it's just, 
it's really a testament to our work and what's possible. So just really like from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Lara. And I do, I'm, I'm really flying by the seat of my pants right now. And it feels great because yeah. like you said on a call earlier too, um, you know, you build as you go and, yes. and that it's just going to get better and, and better. And you really, um, well, everyone, I'm going to speak for me, I have to dive in and, um, and do it in order to really gain that confidence and, and know that, okay, I have a deadline, let me get this done. And, yes. you know, and the program isn't fully built out yet. I have um, an outline, but yeah, it's perfect. really coming along as I go. Yes, that's all you need. Exactly. Yes. And your clients are informing you based on their experience of what is the best next step? What is the best golden nugget to teach from one of the modalities that you've studied with, right? And yeah. having the experience formulate as it creates the results for your clients. Mm -hmm. It's just such a beautiful process. And so what would you say to people who are, they're understanding this intuitively, logically, but there is that, that moment where you have to make the leap, right? And you just recently made that leap from going from having this overall outline, embodying on like a cellular level, the transformation that you want to provide into who, but, you know, not having it all flushed out, right? On a detailed level, you just Okay, you have a couple of clients in your beta now and you're just going for it. Like, what was the thing that you heard or that you said to yourself or that what was it that made you just go, okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to launch this thing. I'm just going to build it out as I go. What helped you make that leap? I wish I could say it's one thing. I feel like it's been a buildup of, you know, four years, 20 years, um, but really the processes that I was in at the time were um, meditating every day on visualizing what it is that I want to do with my life and really um, feeling into what that would look like. And as I did that, I got more and more in touch, back in touch with my spiritual practices and um, hearing my intuition even more clearly and, um, you know, just listening and getting to a place in my life where it's like, enough is enough. Why, you know, why should I keep running from who I am and what it is that I want to do, what it is that gives me joy just to make other people happy? It, you know, it, and it really did feel like I was I just shed this old skin that, that was no longer needing to be a part of me. Um, but it was a process and there were aha moments along the way through the process that the processes that I was going through with your program, as well as outside of it. And honestly, I did pick up Trevor Blake's book, um, three simple steps. And I would listen while I was walking my dogs and it was all like very much reminders, but I needed them. And, um, and it was, it was really good to, to dive into really focusing on keeping track of what my thoughts are saying and how I'm reacting to them and keeping track of um, what I'm visioning and doing more visioning towards the positive and less worrying and, you know, just really letting, I think it's also about letting go and letting the process take care of itself because it'll mm. do that. Beautiful. And what would you say to folks who maybe are trying to like figure this all out on their own right now? And maybe they haven't received, you know, business mentorship before. Oh my goodness. It's so valuable. I've always used mentors. I mean, through medical school, we had, we mentored with doctors, you know, through my shamanic training, I apprenticed with the you know the shaman through 
um, firefighter school, right? I had mentors there um, in my other successful business endeavors. I sought out coaching for, okay, how do I really do this and do well? And it's so invaluable. I mean, you, you just can't replace it because otherwise you're, you're all alone. And, you know, I really believe the cheesy saying that teamwork makes the dream work. So absolutely. It takes a village. Mm -hmm. It really does. Mm -hmm. And just before we wrap up, do you have any, any final words? We did do a, a short meditation before this interview and did anything come through that's on your heart that you would really love to share with the community? Just excitement, anticipation, um, happiness, like the feeling of joy that comes from really doing your own thing and creating your legacy and letting go and letting yourself be guided, um, letting myself be guided. Um, it's, it's an incredible experience if, um, as I go through it, I, I can't express how amazing it is that if you do it, you're gonna transform if you just really allow that process to that unfolding um, in the chrysalis and you know creating the butterfly. It's it's mm, awesome. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Oh, it's going to rattle. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I just love you and appreciate you so much. And I can barely wait to guide you through the official launch of your pilot program and have you join our graduates program and just continue to help you evolve your soul at online business to be everything you want it to be. Thank you. Oh, yeah. for the dog. Yeah. Yeah. Your dog is excited. Yeah. Perfect time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thanks again, Eve. On that note, uh, until we meet again, stay amplified. Okay, thank you, Lara. You're wonderful. Keep doing what you do and thank you. transforming the world as well. So. Yay. And if you are curious about what it would look like to work together you can go to living livingbrightside.com i shall just mute yeah and if you would like to explore what it would look like to be in eve's shoes and have us as your team so we can be the ones to help you realize your dream just go to livingbrightside.com forward slash apply and so we can learn a little bit more about you and then from there we can have a dream diagnostic session so wishing you a magical rest of your day. And until we meet again, stay amplified. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>